Of course, now the book has been published, and this is the uh, the proof version. Uh, that's why that's got this across here. Um, any copies for uh, purchase won't have that. Um, but because um, I have this book, then I will. I may as well, um, you know, read this one rather than a brand new one, which I can send to uh, anybody who uh, requests a copy. Now, I have uh, been to the post office and I have um, uh, postal costs. And I've just sent um, a copy this morning. This book weighs one and a half kilos. And uh, for most places in Europe, uh, the price is 15 pounds. That, that is a tracked delivery. And so this is something that pe people may uh, need to bear in mind um, if they want to purchase um, one of these books. Uh, in the UK, uh, it's five pounds fifty um, first class delivery on track. But I think um, I would need to track um, the parcel uh, to ensure uh, it's safe delivery. Um, so I have just read uh, the first 37 pages, which is the preface. And the preface speaks about how I came to be upon the spiritual path. What life circumstances led me to implode, emotionally, mentally implode and fall to the greatest of depths and to stay there for the next seven years, entering what St John of the Cross coined as the dark night of the soul. Many of you who are spiritually inclined will be familiar with the dark night of the soul. Within the uh, preamble is a very um, precise description of the dark night of the soul and what I have done within this book I have included uh, excerpts from th some of the greatest intellectuals and spiritual people uh, that have ever lived and so this isn't just my words I'm speaking about a human experience uh, conjoined with other people's human experience of the spiritual awakening process. How initially it is absolutely devastating to us and eventually it becomes super illuminating and emancipating and freeing and joyous and blissful. So you've got the full spectrum of what it is to be a human being within the cosmos. It's all within these pages and I would recommend any of you who have been on the spiritual journey or are on the spiritual journey really to consider this book to be your spiritual Bible because there is everything in here that you are going to require to satiate your desire for your truth when we start out upon our spiritual awakening journey, we are absolutely in a fever for knowledge. And so this is what sent me into my reading frenzy, my reading psychosis for the past 14 years. But for the first three years, I would read every single day for 12 hours, every single day. I was absolutely captivated by spirit which was showing me all of the relevant literature that I needed to read. Many, many Greek philosophers, many religious texts, many um, psychologists, many relatively modern philosophers. Uh, I, I read thousands of books um, and I still continue to do so as uh, you'll be aware. And so the journey hasn't ended. I have just 
come out of the darkest facet of it and into the brightest. And this is why I'm always expressing my joy for life. And I have created a position in life where I'm absolutely free. I'm emancipated from societal uh, constraints and demands. Uh, and I have uh, found myself this perfect and beautiful little niche which some of you may have found also. Some of you may find in the future. And I can't tell you how to do it. You have to do that for yourselves because we're all individuals, you see. But you can see from my home what that means to me. You can see from how I have become and this depiction on the door behind me of the green man, which is, it's about rebirth. It's about physical rebirth, it's about spiritual rebirth. And I speak about that in here as well. I speak about so many things. And so, um, I would think anybody that doesn't want to purchase this book, who watches my videos, are spiritually dead. You have to be spiritually dead. I can't think there's any other reason. People watching my videos, I, I can't comprehend it why everybody wouldn't be rushing for a copy. And if money's an issue, then there is the Kindle version, which is nearly $7. And if you are a member of Kindle Direct, I put it on offer for a whole month free and so the option is out there people and, and like I say I've just read the first 37 pages and I'm stricken already and I wrote the book but reading it now afresh in a book on paper printed in all its glory of course I've read this a hundred times literally I've gone over and over and over and over. And what I can say is there isn't a single grammatical error in those first 37 pages. That's how meticulous I've been uh, in wanting to present this book as my opus magnum, as a potential global masterpiece. I'm not getting out of our tree here, people. This book contains, like I say, almost everything, maybe everything, a person on the spiritual path would require. And most certainly, this book is going to be beneficial for everybody that reads it in some shape or form, and it's going to touch you powerfully. And those of you who aren't spiritually mature uh, may glide through each and every one of these chapters, if you have the constitution, without it touching you on every page. That's what this book's gonna do, people. It's gonna touch you on every page. If you have traveled the journey, because you're gonna go, thank God, somebody else is talking about this. Somebody else is speaking about what I experienced. And now I'm putting my emotions into a realm which has been familiarized by a few people. You know, I'm, I'm talking deeply about Jesus in here. I talk deeply about Buddha. I talk deeply about the, the, the uh, I De Ching. I, I talk deeply about many philosophy, um, philosophies and, and, and facets of human psychology. Jung, Freud. Um, it's all going on in here. It's all about the mind and the spirit and consciousness and, and, and ontology, what it is to be a human being. And um, all I can think of, of course, is if I get 100 hits on this video and I get 10 thumbs up, 90% of you are dead. You have to know this, people. You, you are either very seriously embittered and that you can't um, give the, the, the slightest thing to increase the value of this channel if that's what thumbs ups are supposed to do for the algorithm. If you are even with, withholding those, then you have a very bitter heart and soul.
and that will destroy you ultimately. It won't affect me. Whatever you're doing, not wanting to buy the book or not wanting to give gratification for anything I'm saying, the videos you're still watching and yet you're not participating, it's a detriment to yourself and you have to have awareness about that. The truth will set you free. You have to open your heart. And by opening your heart, then you will be free. And so, you know, I suppose just like a thousand other videos, things will continue the same. But there are some of you out there who have purchased the book, are going to purchase the book, are currently reading the book. You will benefit exponentially and you will grow and become richer via that experience. And I'm very, very happy for you for doing so. Because it's going to open up your consciousness and your spirit to higher dimensions. And so I'm about now to um, commence on chapter one, where I'm speaking about life's meaning, asking the question, is there one? Do we need one to justify our existence? And so, after I have read that, I'll be back again. I'll be back again with every chapter. There's 26 chapters. And so, with the, the preface, I make 27 videos. And, um, I've got to tell you, um, it's just a superb read. And like I say, it's not just my thoughts, people. I've read so prolifically, I've been touched and moved so exponentially by so many people that the Spirit compelled me to include them in this. Because no man in this is an island, no man is separate. We are all joined and we all feed uh, from one another and uh, feed others. And so what I've been saying for all these 14 years I've been making these videos is that I set out on a journey to pay everything that I have been blessed with forward. Everything that spirits blessed me with, everything that every single person who has written an account of something meaningful to them that's benefited me, I'm paying that forward. I'm bringing forward into the present day these people, some of which have, who have been dead for thousands of years. I'm keeping them alive. Their spirit is alive. Their egregore is absolutely alive. And they're all partaking in my conglomerate of a psyche. They're all with me. And that's why I'm speaking from them, with them, to them, about them. And they are speaking through me. They're still speaking through me, you see. If you find it difficult to get through some of this, it's because you haven't been there. There's many facets of this journey where if you haven't been there, if you, if you haven't travelled that journey, then you're just going to float over the surface of the text. That's all you're going to do. And that's no fault of your own. It's just a certain truism. If this text doesn't draw you in, if you don't embody this text, then... I would think that you're not spiritually evolved. And um, maybe this book is too early for you. But somebody wrote to me last night, a long-term viewer, been watching my videos for many years now, and has always been very supportive of me uh, via words and financial support as well. And um, she asked me to send her a signed copy because she believes that one day this will be one of the greats. 
it's going to be a, a very sought after and spoken about uh, book within the spiritual development realm. We can read s somebody who has said this. We, we can read Eckhart Tolle. Uh, he's in here. We can read Plato. He's in here. We can read Descartes. He's in here. We can read Jesus. He's in here. We can read Jehovah. He's in here. We can read Satan. He's in here. We can read Lucifer. He's in here. I can go on and on and on and on. They're all in here. Jung, in here. Freud, in here. A hundred or more of the greatest names that have ever lived. They're within this. Their energy is permeating through every single one of these pages. And they're living again vicarious, vicariously through me. I am bringing them back alive. Do you grasp this, people? Can you see how it works? When we utter our words, we create. When we utter our words, we are expiring. It is spirit. You see? We uh, inspire and we expire. Spire, spirit. It's all spirit. The breath is spirit. The word is spirit. In the beginning was the word. And so, via our words, via the spoken word, we cast magic upon the world, be it white or black. It's all within the power of words via cosmic consciousness. And so, if you are not moved by this monologue, I don't know what you're doing here. And if you have any level of bitterness or jealousy or envy towards me, I suggest that you address that and you lose that because that isn't affecting me. Whether you think your bitterness is affecting me, it isn't. And of course I know that there are people who have been upset by me because I joust with many, many people. And I've jousted with, with people throughout this past 14 years. And I'm still jousting now. And this book is for sale for £26.66. That isn't by chance, people. And it's for a very good reason. It's because it's bringing balance. Because there has to be a yin and yang. Because I don't want any people thinking that this is going to be about their God. It isn't about their God. It's about our God. It's about cosmic God. And so, when they look at this and they're drawn to this title, they may think, oh, it's their God. But then when they go to purchase it, they will see something which is quite shocking to them. That the beast is in the price. They're going to see that the, 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 the angel of darkness is within the price. The angel of darkness is within here. And I speak about my encounters meeting him, it, on several occasions. And so it isn't all light, people. It's the yin and the yang. That's why, purposely, I have brought the beast into the equation. Because he, it, is always there. Always going to be there. And it, he, it, is something that we have to have the greatest of respect for. But no fear. No fear, but deep respect. Because we have to deal with both. And so, Christians reading this book are going to be deeply compromised. Because what I'm going to be saying in here is deeply premised in logic and reason and facts. And everybody that finishes reading this book is going to be contemplating the words within for many years. And they are, on occasions, going to be shook to their core. Maybe their belief destabilised. Maybe it's going to be the, the pinnacle moment of transformation, of seeing the light out of the darkness of religion. 
religious dogma. You see, how many Christians are, are, are caught so steadfast in their dogma and in their belief, which is just simply belief. Within this book, I speak about the power of belief and faith. And I delve very, very deeply into what is faith. What does it mean to us? Where does it take us? How does it serve us? What does it mean if we don't have faith? Can we discover something more if we don't have the faith? And I'm saying, yes, we can. But the Christian Bible states that you need faith if you're going to get to God. Well, I'm like, well, if there is a God, why do I need a faith? Why do I need a fiction or a belief? Surely if there is a God, there must be a way to know God. And that's what this book is all about. Being closer to God because I know God. I've known God for many years. And that's what I'm speaking about in here. How to become closer to God. And so, dogmatic belief systems, be prepared to have your knees rocked and your heart quiver and your mind be out of sorts and you may get angry with what is written in here but some of you ultimately may find it a blessing because the truth will set you free.